just got finished watching Chris Howe's How to Get Paid to Travel video. It sparked an idea. I'm currently vacationing in St. Croix in the U.S. Virgin Islands, and I've been in love with this place, but I've never really have been able to capture it how I wanted. So I recently bought a drone. I started to think, what if I could also create a video for St. Croix and see if their tourism department wants to use it even better they want to buy it. So uh, I am embarking on a journey to capture as much as possible uh, here in St. Croix to eventually pitch, I guess, this video to the uh, Department of Tourism for St. Croix. So we'll see what happens. This is the beginning. Um, I'll be documenting my journey along the way. Uh, of course, you'll get some lovely drone B-roll in here. And uh, yeah, I'll keep you guys updated. Alrighty. I wonder if I have to wear a mask on the boardwalk. What's happening folks? We are here downtown in Christiansted looking for some locations to shoot. So I found this nice shaded area over here. It's kind of central to Christiansted. Um, what I'm thinking is I'll be able to fly out that way uh, to get some of the water. I'll be able to get some of the fort here, maybe fly out uh, a little bit west too. Hopefully this park ranger is okay with me recording right now. Good man. Am I good to record here? Uh, commercial filming or is it just personal? Personal. Okay. If it was commercial, then you needed a permit, okay? Gotcha. But that's fine, okay? Thank you. My man, what's your name? Okay, yeah, so just got updated. There's actually no taking off from a national park, which I didn't know. This spot is no good. I'm gonna head back down to the water, launch the drone, and um, see what kind of views we can get. So I found this spot here. It's literally right by the water, which is perfect. Let's get this thing up in the air. Okay, so still waiting for my flight authorization to come through to fly in this area. However, I think I'm gonna head a little north and see if we can launch that way. DJI has done an amazing job of putting together uh, safety features that um, doesn't allow people like me to, to fly without authorization keeping planes in the sky and keeping everyone safe. I always find it funny how uh, you can kind of plan as much as you want, but there's always uh, some aspect that you can't call for. And part of that is just learning to kind of deal with it. Okay, so we are about maybe like half a mile north or east um, as I wait on my authorization here at Gallows Bay. Looks like a perfect place to launch. Um, hopefully I can get close enough to some of these landmarks that I had planned out. It's warm, it feels good, and uh, let's try this again. Not scary at all. There's a moment where I was flying out east to a location that I wanted to shoot and well there was a wind advisory. There was a lost video connection. Not sure if it's the wind or the controller or the location or the hills. 
but my percentage, how sure I was that I lost my drone was approaching 100% with each passing moment before being able to kind of turn it around and get back home. That was very scary. Again, DJI has built in these features, so the drone actually started to return home on its own once, it's, once it lost connection. Once it was back in range, it reconnected and I was able to get some visuals. Me being a little stubborn, I actually turned it around and tried again, but at a lower altitude, maybe hoping there wasn't as much wind, and I lost connection again. Uh, so two heart attacks in a matter of seconds. Outside of that, uh, I was able to get a uh, hotel in the Key, which is out here, and some of the fort. I would love to either head east to grab a little more of that beach over there, grab some more of that, maybe go west and kind of get an approaching shot. I don't know how sure I'll be able to do that given the restrictive flying zone over there. I think we got a shot. Uh, I would love to get out a little bit towards the wind, but it is a windy day, so we might have to wait on that. Maybe stay inland and yeah. I might ask the authentic Nisi uh, or Denisia uh, what a good location might be. Um, maybe in the hills. Only time will tell. All right, with uh, Denisia's help, should I say the authentic Nisi's help? lagoon here uh i'm gonna throw the drone up see if we can get any footage hopefully it's not as windy as it is out at sea and that's it yeah. Just wrapped up at the lagoon location. Almost lost my drone again in the water for emergency la landing because of the battery. Uh, was able to maneuver it. I guess this location is done. It's beautiful. Check it out. Sun's out. Guns out. Dogs out. Paws out. <laughs> somewhere else. I saw it. Hang on. I saw it on the way. I said, hey, let's jump in this bay. Alrighty, just wrapped another location. We got some really good footage. We are going to grab lunch, maybe another location, and we'll see what we got. Peace. about 5 17 in the morning and uh we are going to point udall to capture the sunrise in about an hour i didn't think i would actually wake up this morning but i did um in terms of waking up on time here we are we will head up to point udall to capture the sunrise with the drone i'm excited much like a roller coaster ride like getting ready to i don't know it's like i'm i'm getting in line not even on a roller coaster ride yet so uh, a few bubblies while drinking some bubbly and um yeah i'm just really excited
Alrighty, sun is almost up. I think we have maybe like five more minutes. Throw the drone up and see what kind of shots we can get. Yeah, just finished up here at Point Udall. Got some amazing, amazing footage. Actually, I got another gentleman here that's throwing up another drone, which is awesome. Just capturing just raw beauty. Wow, wow, wow. Here's what I got so far. This is going to be a great addition to the St. Croix drone film. Very excited. Got all the shots that I wanted. Got the monument, sunset, island, Buck Island, everything uh, that I had hoped for. Got a little bit of rain. It was just a passing shower and was able to enjoy the sunset on the most eastern part of the uh, continental or actually contiguous uh, United States or part of, yeah I don't know what the frame is the easternmost part of the US can't wait to drop the drone film can't wait to share more about my journey and story making the film I just can't wait to share more with you guys so until next time, I'm Alexandre. Peace. I'm sure that bush is poisonous. It's slapping me in my face. I'm out of here.